What's good, fellas? This is Trey. Welcome to this presentation. The topic for today is when you chase, she will run. All right. We got to understand that anything that you chase, it will run away from you. Okay. That's like the, the natural instinct of any alive species, right? Not just women, that's with animals, that's with everything. Like, if you chase something, it's going to run away, okay? Because what, when you're chasing something, you know, it basically means you're trying to get something, okay? And you see, we, we don't want to do that because the game is attraction. We want to attract the woman to us. We don't want to chase her down because, as I said, if we chase her down, she's going to run away. She... Needs to chase us. That's the game we need to play because that's attraction. It's when you trigger something in her where she gets this feeling of he has what I want or he has what I need and I need to go get it. That's what we want to trigger in her. If you're trying to get a girl, that's what you need to do. Well, how can I trigger in her I need him? Right? It needs. It's a, it's a selfish thing. When you trigger attraction in a girl, it's like, it's selfish. Like, she will make it seem like, oh, yeah, you know, I like you and blah, blah, blah. But it's a selfish thing. Attraction is selfish. It's like you want something from the person. So even when we see a woman we find attractive and, and we start getting attracted to her, it's a selfish thing. We want her. Okay, but if we're smart about it, we're not going to just go up to her and try to just, like, force ourselves on her. It's like the, the mindset is, okay, if I want something... I got to demonstrate that I have what that person wants so they'll give me what I want, right? So if you want a woman's replication value, which is you want to have sex with her, then you need to demonstrate what she wants, which for her is not sex because we, we need to understand women, it's very easy for them to get sex. It's actually too easy for them to get sex. So that's not what attracts them. It's some form of survival value that you must demonstrate that will attract them. So what do I mean by survival value? Let, let's think about it like this. Imagine, imagine you had access to all types of beautiful women. Like think about all the types of beautiful women that, that you like, right? Whatever your types are, the types of girls you like. Imagine you had complete access to them all the time, okay? At that point, sex wouldn't have that much value. If you had complete access to it 24-7, it wouldn't have that much value anymore. And guess what? Now, you'd be looking at women differently. Like, okay, I can get sex easily. I have 24-7 access to sex. So now you look at a woman like, what else are you bringing to the table? Because sex is not going to cut it. I can get that anywhere. I have complete access to it. Well, that is how the woman is thinking. She has easy access to sex. So when you walk up to her, you can't just be like, you can't just be of the mindset, oh, you know, I'm here to, I'm here to have sex with you or, you know, I'm here to give you some dick or whatever. It, it, it can't be that because she can get that easily. It's nothing special. You have to show up with some other value or a combination of things that she values. So she looks at you and she's like, wow, he has the value that I want. But then you have to demonstrate, yeah, I have the value that you want, but you can only get that value if you give me what I want. You see, the dudes that the dudes that end up in the friend zone are the guys who give the woman the value that she seeks without the exchange, without demonstrating that, look, I know the value I have, and if you want it, you have to give me the value I want. You see, but where guys mess up is they just get they try to, you know, give the girl everything and Put her on a pedestal and all this shit. And she's like, oh, I already got it. Why do I need to have sex with him? So you have to actually know your value. You have to get clarity on your value. So for me, I focus on the core, the core uh, attractive qualities that women respond to on a biological level. Like the stuff that they can't, uh, they can't resist or is difficult to resist. Right? When an alpha male steps up. 
right? A grounded, masculine man who's assertive, who's authentic in his expression, who has a leader, who has resources, you know, or who has value in the sense of whether it's character traits, whether it's resources, whether it's connections. Like there needs to be some some substance there. And when that kind of guy shows up and he demonstrates dominance over the environment, that dominance over her mind, right? He demonstrates his 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 intellect, like his knowledge, his wisdom, but he does it in a way where it's not like I'm, hey, I'm a, uh, you know, you don't brag to her about your value. You demonstrate it through your actions, through your behavior, through your mannerisms, through your tonality, your communication, your eye contact, through the way you carry yourself, through your energy, your vibration, the frequency. She can feel you. We got to understand this is a game of feeling. We cannot that's why uh, what you say is like, it's cool. Like, it's cool to have some lines to say, but it's not the lines. It's the power behind it. It's the impact. It's the emotional currency behind the words, right? Two guys can go up to a woman and say the same exact thing and get two different results because of the feeling that the woman feels when those words are communicated. And it's the whole package that creates the communication. So we got to understand, we got to take into consideration our whole, our whole package, right? The way we look, the way we sound, the way we smell, the way we move, right? The look in our eye, the, the, everything is, is part of the game, man. The way we feel. Here, here's something you got to understand. Women... I don't know how in tune you are with feeling out vibes, right? Like, this is a term we got to get used to. It's like the word vibe, like vibe, like the energy. I don't know how good you are at feeling out the vibes, but guess what? Women are really good at that. Like, that's actually what they, uh, that's like their leverage, right? They, it's like their superpower. They're really in tune with vibes, man. It's hard to bullshit a woman. You can, like, some. you may think you're bullshitting a woman, but... She's just putting up with your shit because somehow you're demonstrating some value that makes it worth it for her. But you can't bullshit a woman, man. It's very difficult because she's so in tune with feelings. She's so in tune with vibes. And we as men got to get in tune with vibes. Okay? And there's a certain vibe. There's a vibe of a guy who is attracting versus a vibe of a guy who's chasing. And she can feel it. She can feel it when you're chasing. She can feel it when you're trying to get something without giving. Here, here's how you get a woman. You give more value than you take. You have to show up with more value than her. Your character, your beingness, your existence needs to be of more value than her. I, I don't know. This may sound, I don't know. It might sound a little weird or sound fucked up. I don't know, but it's the truth. She's going for that guy that is higher value than her, period. No matter what bullshit they tell you. Oh, equal rights this, or oh, I want a man that is, you know, treats me well and this and that. No, she wants a man that has high value. She wants a man that can lead her into the type of relationship and experiences she wants in life. She wants a man that can, you know, lead her into good emotions. Matter of fact, a man who can lead her into like, a variety of emotions, not just one emotion. She doesn't want a guy that's always happy all the time. She doesn't want a guy that's always sad all the time. She wants a guy who has healthy emotions, who could move around emotionally and move her emotionally. So we got to get good at that. We got to get, get good at moving women emotionally, not chasing them, not trying to prove to them why they should get with us, not trying to make them like us. We show up and demonstrate the qualities that she finds attractive. She finds it attractive when a man is grounded in his masculinity. What does that mean? Grounded in his masculinity. She gets turned on when a man is assertive in his communication. It's like, um, I, I'll just, I, the best I can do right now, like what's coming to mind is like, let me show you an example of an approach. Like, here's what a grounded masculine man looks like when he approaches a woman. Excuse me. I know it's kind of random, but I just wanted to come up to you and let you know I thought you were attractive. Right? That's a grounded and masculine man. Because you can see, he, he's 
He's just going for it, right? But he's relaxed. You could tell that he's okay with the environment. He's okay with the situation. He's not resisting anything, right? And maybe he's a little nervous, right? Because I'm not going to bullshit you. If you see, a, you know, walking up to somebody that you don't know is going to bring up some kind of nerves. No matter, no matter who you think you are, right? It's going to bring up a little bit because you're, it's, you know, you don't know what to expect, right? But there's different levels of it, right? You don't, you know, you don't want it to be at a level where it's like crippling, where you can't even walk up to her. But there should be a little bit of nervousness. That means you like her. That means she's attractive, right? If there was no nervousness at all, then what's the point, right? She's not, she's not attractive. She's not stimulating you, right? Versus, that's a grounded masculine approach versus this. This is, would be a not grounded, uh, not grounded masculine approach. Excuse me. Um, I just wanted to come and say I uh, thought you were attractive and, you know, I wanted to say hi. Right? You could tell this guy's like he's in his head. He's trying to, he's trying to, you know, uh, be logical about it. Like, oh, you know, what's the right thing to say? You can kind of tell with the way how he's talking. Like, he's trying to say it the right way and shit like that. Versus the first, the first example, it's like you kind of just let it out. And however it comes out, it comes out. Excuse me. You know, I thought you were attractive and uh, I just wanted to come and say hi. You know, there's a difference in the in the vibe, you know. And so she can feel the difference. Right. One is coming across with. Grounded masculine energy, the other one's coming across like it's like. um. You know, it's it's like static. -y. It's not. It's not fluid. It's not, um, it's not, you know, when I, when I say grounded, it's like your energy comes up from the ground and it goes out versus when you're stuck in your head, it's like, you know, and it, it, it doesn't come across right. And so she can feel that it's like, it's weak and women are actually repulsed by weakness, right? Like when you demonstrate weakness, that's, she's basically going to start looking at you like, okay. Put him in a friend zone, right? Either reject him or put him in a friend zone. When you demonstrate strength, now she's looking at you like, okay, okay, I'm interested, right? And there's different levels of interest. The more strength and strength is perceived, right? So, for example, a guy who can communicate freely and laugh at himself and, you know, he can take a joke and not get uh, offended and shit like that, that's strength, Right, it doesn't look strong. Like he's not like, oh fuck you, fuck you. But if he, a guy can just be cool and relax and take a joke and have a good time, that's strength. Because most people, you know, they get triggered. Right, they have an ego. If you say something, oh shit, you know, it's a big deal, and they make a drama and all that shit. But the guy who can show up and and not resist anything and just enjoy the vibes and have a good conversation, that's strength. That's strong. Right. And not just, I, I respect that, you know, so, of course, you know, women respect it, too, and they can feel it. See, that's the thing with women. It's like sometimes, they, you, you know, a woman will be into a guy. And it's like, why is she into him? Because she's feeling something. Right. That guy is stimulating her emotionally. So that's what we got to do. We're, we're not supposed to be chasing women. OK, we're supposed to demonstrate we're supposed to you know, lead, right? There's a difference between leading and chasing, right? Leading is where you say, when you say, hey, it's like you create, you create a vibe and you invite the person to come into the vibe with you. So it's like, hey, I think you're attractive. I want to come and say hi. You're creating a vibe. You're like, look, it's like, yo, I'm a king and I'm looking for women who want to be a part of my kingdom. That's, that's what's being said. Obviously you're not saying that, but that's like the underlying tone. It's like, I am a king. I'm building my kingdom. I see a woman I find attractive. I would like to bring your feminine energy to, to uh, you know, complement my masculine energy. Right? And she can decide to follow your lead or not. But she's going to test to see your strength, see if you're strong enough to lead her. That's why they test you. Because if you're not strong enough to lead them, why should they follow you? But if you're looking at the woman like, oh, man, I'm trying to get some pussy or whatever, you you approach her with that mindset, it's like, you're chasing her. You're trying to get something. You're not saying I have value and I would like to share that value with you and you can come into my kingdom. And if you and if you like the value, then 
you need to exchange, right? You you need to exchange your replication value for my survival value. That's not what you're doing when you're chasing this like, oh, what you know, you're trying to figure out how to get her and shit like that. I I would never teach that. I would never teach a guy how to get a girl. It's more so about how to attract a girl by being attractive. Right? So when I say go out and code approach women, why am I telling you to do that? Because you need to build up attractive qualities. And you can build those qualities by going out and approaching women. What's the best way to get at dealing, to, to get confident and comfortable with, with, a, with a certain type of being? It's to get around it. It's to spend time with it. And so cold approach gives you opportunity to get in front of women, to get comfortable with them, to get to understand the eye contact, understand the body language, understand the communication, right? Understand what it looks like when she's into you and when she's not into you. Understand what it looks like when she's a maybe girl versus a yes girl versus a no girl. So that's the advice, man. We we do not chase women because it doesn't work. It's not effective. It, it you anything you chase is gonna run away from you. It's gonna try to get away from you because clearly, if you're chasing it, you're trying to get something, right? You need to demonstrate. If you want something, you gotta show. Hey, here's what I have in exchange for what you have. But the best way to do it, the smartest way to do it, is to show more value than what you're asking for. Right, So you need to somehow create the perception that it is worth it for her to give up her replication value to you. Her replication value is the most valuable thing she has. Like do, We have to understand that her, when she opens her legs, she's, she's like telling you like, why, like, she's like, look, I value what you have so much that I'm giving you the most valuable thing I have, which is my replication value. Like we got to understand that. Right? And if she's choosing you over every other guy, that means somehow, some way, you have created a perception that your value is higher than these other men. And that's props. Respect to that. But understand that's what you're doing. Anytime you got a woman, that's what you did. Somehow, some way, you created a perception that you had the most value as a man in that particular stage of her life. And so she chose you. And so anytime you see a woman and you're attracted to her and you want to attract her, you have to demonstrate that to that woman. You have to be out the competition and somehow communicate to her, I have what you want. I have what you need. You need to chase me, right? Because if you're chasing her, what you're saying to her is that she has what you need and you can't get it elsewhere. That's why you're chasing her. Right? That's why I gave that example in the beginning. What if you had, you know, all the, all the, whatever women you'd find attractive, whatever your type is, what if you had 24 access to that kind of woman sexually, right? Just imagine that kind of like Hugh Hefner. Imagine you were Hugh Hefner. You just had a Playboy Mansion. But now a woman can't just show up and try to, you know, you know, control you with, with, with her sexuality because you have it readily available 24 seven. It's normalized. So now she needs to show up with something more, right? And now your communication is going to come from a different place. You're going to communicate attractively because you're not going to be trying to get something from her, right? If you're more so, you're going to be screening her to see what, like, what do you have? I have the value, right? I have the grounded masculinity. I'm the one that can bring order to your chaos, right? I'm the one that can lead you into the experiences you want in life. I'm the one that can guide you, you know, through the emotion. You know, they women just want to go through emotions, but they want to go through it in a safe way. A man that can guide them properly, right? They, they're, they're seeking certain emotions. That's why they do what they do, because they want to feel a certain way. So you just show up as the man that can create the feelings that she wants to feel in life. That's it. And how you do that, that's the art. That's the art. That's the game. That's where your seduction comes in. That's where your uniqueness comes in. That's where your creativity comes in. But you got to have those, those core qualities. You need to be a masculine man who's grounded, who embraces his sexuality, who's authentic in his expression and able to lead. Those core qualities need to be there. And then you, you let your unique expression come out so you attract the right type of women for you. And if you're not attracting the right type of women for you, it means you need to level up. You need to look, how grounded in my masculinity am I? How able am I to express myself authentically? How able am I to lead? What kind of experiences can I lead a woman, a woman through in life? Right? 
Am I able to create the emotions and the experiences she wants in life? Yes or no? If not, she's going to go to a different guy. She's going to seek the guy who can do that. That's why guys go to the club and, and they get super drunk and, and, and try to find the drunkest girl and hope to get lucky because they're not bringing no value. When you have value, you don't have to do shit like that. You can go out in the day and meet a woman that is completely sober and you can sweep her off her feet because you show up as a kind of man that other men are not. You show up as a grounded masculine man, that man who has, who's moving, going somewhere in life, right? A man who's constantly evolving, a man who can express himself authentically, a man who's confident in himself, right? A man who's creating his kingdom each and every day. He sees himself as a king on his throne and he's building his kingdom each and every day. And making his, his, his kingdom attractive so a woman would like to come into it. Your kingdom is your life, your lifestyle. Alright, so that's the advice. Okay, that is the advice. Go ahead and apply it. And if you are struggling, okay, if you're struggling with the fear of approaching women, if you're struggling with, you know, not understanding women, you're just not getting the results you want in your dating life, okay, I have a solution for you, okay, I have an eight-week program, it's designed to gradually build up your confidence with women, right, so you're able to approach women at will, you're able to walk up to women with confidence, walk up to women and express yourself authentically, walk up to women and lead, right, and create these, these opportunities for relationships, right, if you can lead, you can create. A woman just needs to see strength in your leadership. Your leadership can't be weak. That's why you need to be confident. That's why you need to be grounded in your masculinity. And you need to have the right uh, belief system and mindsets. You can't walk up to her doubting yourself. You can't walk up to her, you know, seeing her as like, uh, you know, these guys have like all these negative thoughts about women. It's like, just understand what women want and you just show that. You know, don't don't bring these negative mentalities about women or oh, women uh, hyper gamey and oh, women will leave you and this and that. If you think that shit, you will create that shit. OK, just understand that. Yes, a woman is looking for the, the highest value man she should she can get and she should. Why would she not? The same way that we are trying to get the highest value woman we can get. She's doing the same thing. That's what she's supposed to do. So you just level up. And demonstrate that, demonstrate the most attractive qualities you have to multiple women on a consistent basis. And some of these women will respond positively to you. And those are your women, right? And if you don't like the level of women you're attracting, you increase your value. And then you go out and express that value to women and watch the quality of women will increase. So I have an eight week program where we go through this process. Right? I help you be, to become a more attractive version of yourself. I help you to get out there and start cold approaching women. I help you to build up your confidence, you know, develop the right mindsets, become a beast, and handle this area of your life. All right? So I'm doing a, a I got somebody knocking at the door. So I'm doing a deal, okay, for my program is $597, $600 for the eight weeks of one on one coaching. Right. Once the last spot is taken, that that program, the price is going to go up. All right. So jump on this opportunity because I'm telling you, the group is growing, the business is growing, and I'm not going to be as accessible as I am right now. So take advantage of it. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.